thousand kilometer to go in the 2018 Pink Bank Tour and Matej Mohoric not only chases down this front group but goes straight around them as we're now into the town approaching the last climb it was Michael Matthews that had to help him out he had to bring back Dylan Van Baal because Van Baal could have challenged him for his podium position Mohoric now Brian Smith look at this ride by the young man yeah, we're now inside the, the last kilometre over the bridge and uh, Matty Mahoric taking this one on from the front. He make, wants to kind of time trial to the line. He's got Van Asbrook on the wheel and then Greg Van Avermaet is there. Steve Barr, I think, will be uh, challenging for the uh, stage one. Matej Mahoric leads them on to the cobbles for the last time. Michael Matthews in fourth place there. 28 seconds down on him. Greg Van Avermaet just in front of him. Mahoric now 300 metres to go. I think he's pretty much done this, but look at the fight going on at the front. Michael Matthews now taking on Greg Van Avermaet over the cobbles. Stebar there in third place. Uh, it's uh, Nason in fourth place. Mahoric still trying to get up to the finish. Michael Matthews, it looks like a Approaching the line round the last corner is going to take this one. Greg Van Adebaar not able to get on terms. Michael Matthews from somewhere puts the power down. Stage seven of the Bing Bang Tour into Gerardsbergen goes to Michael Matthews of Sunweb. Greg Van Adebaar takes a second and Stebar holds on for third place. Congratulations. How strong were you today? Uh, yes, we tried uh, our best today to defend the jersey. We rode from the start to keep the breakaway in check and then in the final I try to respond to all the attacks from the other guys. Uh, Mark Matthews and Crank Anderson were really strong today so uh, they attacked me many times but I always managed to come back and in the final I just uh, gave it all all the way to the line and at the end it was very close but I was lucky enough to win. At a certain point you tried all by yourself, was that the real plan this morning? Um, no, I just wanted to show all the guys that I'm feeling good also so uh, I can respond to the attacks uh, just for the self-confidence and uh, at the end I managed to come back every time they attacked me and uh, it played in my favor that the guys were chasing uh, stage win as well, not only GC. So at the end it all came back together and it uh, finished uh, well enough for me. How do you look back at this week? Uh, excuse me? How do you look back at this week? Um, yeah, it was a uh, really hard week of racing. Uh, after that successful breakaway, we defended the jersey every day. It was uh, quite close on a couple of occasions, but at the end it worked out every single day. We really raced day by day, uh, not only day by day, also kilometer by kilometer, and show some really strong uh, team spirit, even though we might not be uh, the strongest team in the race, but we hold uh, together, we work all for one, and uh, at the end it all paid off. Okay, thank you, congrats. Yeah, oh, it's incredible. We came here with uh, with a goal, with the GC, with uh, me and Soren, and uh, for the sprint with uh, with Max. And uh, yeah, we did a really good team effort this week. We learned a lot about each other, and um, today was one of my really big goals of this week, was to finish it off in a good way. And uh, yeah, Soren really sacrificed himself for me today. He was actually the leader of this race, but he could see that maybe I had a bit better legs today in the final. So he pulled the breakaway back to uh, give me the best opportunity for the sprint. And um, yeah, I'm just so happy to finish it off. You tried everything to make it Matej Mohoric very, very difficult, but in the end it didn't work out. Yeah, he was just too strong. Um, we tried everything. We had two riders there to, uh, to try and crack him, but um, yeah, he played it really smart and um, yeah, there's not much more we could really do. We threw everything at him and um, yeah, I guess we have to be happy with second. It's your second big win this season. What's your upcoming goals for the upcoming months? Yeah, well, it's been a it's been a rocky season with a lot of uh, bad luck and crashes and illnesses. So, um, yeah, this is just something that I've been really working hard for, and um, yeah, it's a little bit uh, emotional that it finally came true and uh, I got that uh, that big win that I was looking for. Um, next weekend I have Plouwe and then to Canada for the Canadian Classics. So yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, thank you.